Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. So, I'm back outside, you know, I know maybe you can't really tell behind me, um, but I think you, and you can obviously tell, though, that it is a bright day, we got the sun out, it's, um, mid-morning, and, uh, I've got some energy, I'm in a good mood today, and I thought, you know, hey, let's get some fresh air, I know I've been inside a lot lately, so, uh, let's get some fresh air, set up outside, and, uh, try out a new item. I know I've been doing some pizza reviews lately, I mean, the last one that I did was this, uh, review for a Papa John's pizza, it was the New York-style pizza, which wasn't necessarily true to its name, but it was still pretty solid. And, uh, sure enough, Little Caesars, they're coming out with a new item, and, uh, I've got my hopes up for this one, I really do. It's one of those items that, it's not necessarily brand new, we're gonna go over what it is, but we're gonna see. I'm actually going, if you can kinda tell, I've got my Little Caesars tie. This was actually sent to me many months ago, it was actually back in February of 2021, um, by Little Caesars themselves, it's some sort of promotion, and I thought, why not? You know, it's a good day, let's break it out for the Little Caesars. We got the pizza on the tie, we got a pizza right here, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. But like I was saying, this is one of those items where it's not brand new, but it's an adjustment to an existing item. Now, we know that Little Caesars is one of those establishments that's very well known for its uh, hot and ready pizza. Uh, I oftentimes don't- I don't really get the hot and ready pizza when I go. I like to get the extra most bestest pizza if I ever go to Little Caesars. Uh, sometimes I'll get their deep, deep dish pizza as well. But the hot and ready, they've got the five dollar carryout deal, or at least they did have it. Uh, they made an adjustment to it. Uh, obviously with the rising price of everything these days, uh, they have adjusted the price of the hot and ready pizza, and, um, it's now five dollars and fifty-five cents. But here's the catch, and I will give them credit for this, um, they're raising the price, yeah, by about 55 cents. However, they said, with this price increase comes 33% more pepperoni. So, look, if they're gonna raise the price, but they're gonna give you a little more pepperoni for it, 33%, I'll take it. And, um, 55 cents more, but you're getting some more pepperoni, I mean, yeah, ideally you don't want to see the price of things go up, but at least they're doing something to compensate for it. And I'll give credit where credit is due. Um, some places would just raise the price and not even do anything, so... You know, Little Caesars, so far so good. Um, I was thinking to myself, you know, they say 33% more pepperoni, but I don't really know how much, um, how much pepperoni that specifically is. So what I decided to do, because I want to find out how much more pepperoni is this pizza going to have, and I think you'd like to know that too, uh, in terms of exact figures. So what I did was I went back to my own reviews, because indeed I have tried out the extra most, not the extra most bestest, but I've tried that out too, uh, the hot and ready pizza, and uh, I found a review of mine from 2017 where I tried out the hot and ready, and I paused the video when I held the pizza to the camera, and I counted. So the original hot and ready pizza that I reviewed in 2017, and I then cross-checked this uh, with other pictures across the web that I could find, had 30 pieces of pepperoni. So it had 30 pieces of pepperoni uh, back in 2017. So the 2022 edition, right, because you do the math, 33%, alright, that's going to come out to 9.9 .9 pieces of pepperoni. So the 2022 edition, therefore, should have around 39.9 .9 pieces of pepperoni thereon. Um, obviously, though, a noticeable increase from, you know, 2017 or any past iterations thereof, um, but you should be expecting this to have about 40 pieces of pepperoni with one piece of pepperoni that's about nine-tenths the size of the others uh, hidden in there. And I heard there's actually an undisclosed cash prize if you could actually spot the uh, slightly smaller size pepperoni piece. All right, uh, one other thing to mention, of course, the extra most bestest pizza. It's just a standard pizza. Otherwise, um, it comes with pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, uh, Munster cheese as well, so a, a two-cheese blend, and uh, the usual marinara, uh, just pizza sauce. One other thing, it's five fifty-five, higher price in California, Hawaii, and Alaska. They didn't disclose by how much, but the price will be slightly higher in those states. 
I specifically mention California because I know that many of you watching are located in that state. So anyway, I got the pizza delivered. And there's the box, and I'm gonna take a thumbnail with the box. Um, first and foremost. There's the, there's the fiend. Uh, looks like he's... Is he taking a... He's holding up this little glowing thing with a pizza on it. And uh, you can see that. People like their branding, though. And I haven't opened it yet, I just got it delivered. I think that's actually a little... A portable radio that he's holding, and see, that's the audio coming out, so he's probably listening to the shortwave, if I had to guess. So, uh, we got some interesting stuff right there. Alright. It's a save time machine. Order online, skip the register. <laughs> got it open. And yeah, I do like this. It's a dragon... themed... See that right there? It's a dragon-themed knife. I like it. I actually know a few dragons, personally. They're cool guys. And there it is. Does that look like 40 slices of pepperoni to you? Looks like a pepperoni pizza, but are there 40 slices? Because when I... There it is, you can see it, and there I am with it. Shouldn't have even expected this, you know? It's the usual... Not even afraid to say it anymore, just the usual BS at this point, where they sit there and they tell you that it's going to have 33% more. This is probably why they don't even mention um, exact figures anymore at this point. I swear that's not 40. Let's look. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. You could probably rewind and pause the video, but let's count right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's, there's 31 pieces of pepperoni on this. You know, you think I'm making this stuff up, you could go ahead right now, and you could pause the video. I counted 31 slices of pepperoni on this, so... It doesn't even surprise me anymore. I mean, what, what, what could you even say? What, what do you even expect at this point? They've reviewed so much trash at this point that, uh, why, why even bother maintaining the standards, right? What's the point? You know, paid the five fifty five for it. I know it was the brand new one, but um, yeah, should have known better. Should have known better. Maybe it'll taste good still, but this is what you get for actually believing what they tell you. You know, same old, same old. That's how it's been lately. Shouldn't have my sights set so high. Why? What reason do they have? What reason do they have? People aren't gonna think. Oh yeah, it's gonna be this many- 33%, you know. Sounds good. That's why they don't give you the exact figure, probably. Pay extra for it, and you get one extra slice, it looks like, so. You're really getting your money's worth with this one. You know what? Got it. Before I eat this, I'm, I'm not even gonna wear this tie anymore. I'm done with them. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna throw it on the ground there. I'm so done with them. Maybe it'll be an actually good pizza, though, but... You know, more false advertising as usual, right? Hot and ready. New and improved going in.
pizza's all right, but I'm just sick of the false advertising that comes along with it. That's a problem that I have, you know? They raise the price and say it's going to have more of this. <laughs> I guess, you know, theoretically it does, but... You know, it just is, it's just a shame, that's all. What else can you say? I'm going to take a bite of the crust and then I'm going to put a different tie on, one that isn't a badge of shame, because I don't really feel comfortable being tieless. Be back in a minute. Some food thoughts are next. All right, there we go. Now I feel more like myself. Pizza's all right, um, to give a very fast assessment of it. You know, it's your standard, uh, takeout fast food pizza, right? What can you really say about it? Uh, aside from the fact that it tastes as you would expect it to, you know, pepperoni distribution is, uh, as it used to be, essentially, with the addition of one extra piece of pepperoni. And, uh, otherwise, you know, at least you're getting a good amount of cheese. What pepperoni there is, of course, does, um, does taste fine. I mean, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of spice to it. The uh, sauce, I always do like the sauce from Little Caesars, so it's very robust. Um, that's one thing that differentiates it from some of the other establishments, is that the sauce from Little Caesars, again, is more on the robust side, very flavorful, and is quite a nice touch, if I may add. Crust isn't seasoned, but, um, again, it's, it's just not bad overall in terms of it. You can see it's just, you know, your basic fast food takeout pizza. The sauce, I think, though, is one of the stars of the show. Um, so don't expect the world, obviously. Don't expect amazing quality. But all things considered, is it repulsive? No, it's not. Um, but, you know, the disingenuous nature of their marketing leaves much to be desired. So, pizza's okay. Um, so some people then may say, well, if the pizza's okay, then, uh, then bro, why are you upset? Well, I guess it just has to do with the fact, and, you know, maybe it's just a culmination of all of it, that, uh, you're told one thing, and you're told that it's going to have this increase in pepperoni by 33%, you actually do the math, and you think that it's going to be this way, and, right, that's the whole basis of this change, that they're raising the price, but you're getting a payoff, um, because of that, and you're going to be getting more pepperoni. So you do that, and you compare it, and then what happens, right? That doesn't happen, and you get one measly extra piece of pepperoni, and, um, I don't, look, I don't really give a damn how much pepperoni is on this, whether there's 40 slices or 35, um, but it's the fact that they promised one thing, and just completely blatantly and carelessly, um, and utterly failed, in my opinion, that, uh, that's what bothers me. And you just see this time and time and time again. And uh, from one review to the next, to the next, to the next, this just keeps on happening. So, you wonder why I'm frustrated, that's why. And, um, and that's all that there really is to it. You know, food quality-wise, sure, go out and get it. You know, $5.55, it's still not the most expensive pizza in the world. And that's not, you know, the point is that they raised the price, promised something, and didn't deliver on that promise. That's what upsets me. Pizza quality, it is what it is. It's standard Little Caesars. There's the good and the bad. Um, but take note, you know, that quality of the food, um, it's okay. So bear that in mind. As a result, you know, I'm just going to, uh, part of me almost wants to give this two scores because part of me wants to give it just out of frustration, you know, like a, a two, um, because of this. But that's not fair into the pizza itself and the poor ingredients that went into making this and all of that, because it still tastes all right, so, you know. Pizza? 
I'm gonna give the pizza a, a 6.7 out of 10. Not perfect, but not bad. But as for the deal, the marketing, and the deception there behind, that's getting a 2 out of 10 easily. Um, it's a trend we've been seeing. It's gonna continue. And uh, is it gonna get any better? How can I see it getting any better when uh, they promise you and they tell you that it's getting better and they're gonna be giving you more and uh, they fail miserably with that? So, what's there to even expect at this point, right? On to the next. May the next item actually uh, be good and, and stay true to the promises the company gave in terms of its marketing. That's all that I have for you. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Until next time.